Hello friends, in this video, I am going to cover brainstem syndromes which are important for NEAT PG. This will be quick revision video rather than explaining the full concept and full theory. So without wasting time, let's start. So this video I have divided up into three parts, Midbrun syndromes, Pond syndromes and Medullar syndromes. So it is easy to revise and remember. First of all, Midbrain syndromes. Midbrain syndrome includes ventral and dorsal midbrain syndromes. Ventral means it includes base and tegmentum of the midbrain and dorsal means there is involvement of tectum of the midbrain. Ventral midbrain syndrome includes Weber syndrome, Claudet syndrome and Benedict syndrome. And dorsal midbrain syndrome includes North Rigel and Perinode syndrome. We will see one slide for each syndrome separately. First of all Weber syndrome. As I said, it, in, it includes involvement of base of the midbrain. So structure involved will be third nerve nucleus corticospinal and corticobulbar tract. So clinical features will be ipsilateral third nerve palsy with contralateral hemiplegia. Along with that there will be contralateral paralysis of lower part of the face and tongue, ptosis and pupils will be dilated and fixed and accommodation reflex will be lost on the side of lesion. Next is Claudet syndrome. Here there is involvement of tegmentum of the midbrain. So structure involvement will be third nerve nucleus, red nucleus, and superior cerebellar peduncle. So, clinical features will be ipsilateral lateral squint, ptosis, and pupils will be dilated and fixed, and contralateral cerebellar ataxia because of involvement of cerebellar peduncle. And last is Benedict syndrome. It is said that it is involvement of or it is combination of Weber's plus Claudet syndrome. So, there will be involvement of tegmentum and base both. So, clinical feature will be ipsilateral third nerve palsy with contractor hemiplegia and contractor cerebellar ataxia. But additional symptoms will be hemichoria and athotesis because of involvement of substantia nigra. Now, coming to dorsal midbrain syndrome. First is North Nigel syndrome. Here, there is involvement of dorsal part that is tectum of the midbrain. It includes third nerve nucleus, fibers of the superior cerebral peduncle, vertical gaze palsy. So, clinical features will be ipsilateral third nerve palsy contralateral ataxia and tremors and vertical gaze palsy and last midbrain syndrome that is perinode syndrome it includes or structure involved in this is superior colliculus which will cause upward gaze, gaze palsy it is also known as sunset sign and skew deviation of the eye so this is the most important sites for midbrain syndromes it includes syndromes site of lesion structure involved and clinical features you can take screenshot of this slide and revise just a day before the exam. It will be very helpful to solve MCQ very quickly. So moving forward to Pond syndrome. The two most important Pond syndrome you need to remember are millet gubler and Fovili syndrome. millet gubler syndrome is due to lesion in ventral pons and it involves the following structure. First of all, involvement of facial nerve nucleus. So it will cause ipsilateral facial nerve palsy. Remember friends, it is element type of palsy because involvement of facial nerve nucleus and fibers. Next is involvement of abducens snow, which will cause ipsilateral lateral rectus palsy and contralateral hemiplegia because involvement of corticospinal tract. You can take screenshot if you want. Next is Fovelli syndrome. It is because of lesion in pontine tegmentum. It involves facial nerve nucleus which will cause ipsilateral facial nerve palsy which is element type. Then there is involvement of 6 nerve nucleus in PPRF that is pyramidian pontine reticular formation which will cause conjugate gaze palsy of the same side. Friends, I have uploaded detailed video on internuclear optional plagia where I have explained PPRF, MLF lesion, everything in detail. Link I will give in the description below. And last is involvement of corticospinal tract which will cause contralateral hemiplegia. Here also you can take screenshot if you want. Now last is medullary syndromes which includes medial and lateral medullary syndrome. First of all this is the cross section of medulla showing the medial structures. Medial structure include 12th nerve nucleus that is hypoglossal nerve. Next is medial longitudinal fasciculus. This MLF uh, connects ipsilateral 6th nerve to the contralateral 3rd nerve for horizontal gaze movement. Next is medial lemniscus, which is nothing but the continuation of contralateral posterior column tracts. And last is pyramid that is corticospinal tract. So with involvement of these structures it manifests as contralateral hemiplegia, contralateral loss of position and vibration, internuclear ophthalmoplegia that is INO and deviation of the tongue towards the same side of lesion because of 12th nerve palsy. 
And remember friends, medial medullo syndrome, also known as Dijerain syndrome. And vessel involved may be vertebral artery or anterior spinal artery. Next is cross-section of medulla showing lateral structures. It includes eighth nerve nucleus that is vestibular nucleus, inferior cerebellar peduncle, spinal nucleus of fifth nerve that is trigeminal nerve, nucleus ambiguous that is ninth and tenth nerve nucleus and last is lateral spinothalamic tract. So if these structures are involved, manifestations will be ipsilateral ataxia that is cerebellar sign, ipsilateral nystagmus and vertigo, ipsilateral loss of uh, sensation on face, dysphagia and loss of gag reflex because of involvement of ninth and tenth nerve nucleus and loss of uh, pain, touch and temperature because of involvement of lateral spinothalamic tract. And this is known as lateral medullary syndrome, also known as Wallenberg syndrome. And vessel involved in pica, that is posterior inferior cerebellar artery. So friends, this was all about brainstem syndromes for important for neat PG. If you love the content, show your love by liking the video, subscribing the channel and sharing with your friends. Thank you. Have a nice day. All the best for neat PG.